Hello and welcome back to another tutorial for CodingBat.com. Today we are going to be doing exercise either 24 in section array 2. The question states, given an array of ints, return true if the array contains a 2 next to a 2 or a 4 next to a 4, but not both. Let's go through the examples. Um, the first has an array with three numbers, a 1 and then a 2 next to a 2. This would return true because we have a 2 next to a 2, but not a 4 next to a 4. Um, the second example is the opposite, having two 4s next to each other, but not two 2s next to each other. And these both return true. The last example would return false because although we have a 4 next to a 4, we also have a 2 next to a 2. Basically, what we are looking for is only one of these, but not both. Alright, so what we're going to be doing with this code basically is we're going to be keeping track if we have found a pair of 2s or a pair of 4s. And we're just going to be labeling them 2 and 4 to keep track of if we have found that um, particular pair. And keep in mind, they have to be next to each other. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be going through the array, except we're going to be doing one less than the array length. Um, and this will basically go up to the second to last number, because we're going to be scanning two at a time, and we don't want to go out of bounds. Now, just finishing up this for statement, we are now going to be going into actually looking at the indices, and checking if they're equal to 2 and then equal to 4. So first we need to um, basically check the index where we are at and the next index and see if they're equal to 2. If this is true, that means we have found an index where it's a 2 and the next index is a 2. And this would be something like this. And if we do, then we set the boolean to, and we just make that true. Um, on the other hand, if we have found um, if the index we are at is equal to 4 and the next index is equal to 4 as well, we can actually uh, basically do the same thing, but we set 4 to true. And what this is doing is we are going through the array, except for the very last one, and we are scanning by 2, and in pairs we'll see if we find a pair of 2 or a pair of 4s. Um, after we have all the information, we have gathered all of our information, and now we want to finally return true if one of them um, is true and the other one is false, or just return false. The first thing we want to do is if 2 and 4, and this is basically saying if these are both true, we want to return false because we cannot have both or else it returns false, just like this last case. Next, we want to address else if, um, let's say 2 is true and 4 is false, or it could also be the case that 2 is false and 4 is true. Either way, this is basically checking if one is true, the other is false. Um, one is false, if the other is true. We're basically checking if there's only um, solely one that is true. And in this case, we would return true. Um, else, um, make it return false. And there are a couple things we can cut down on, like not putting the else, because um, the method would return the first thing. But um, we still, regardless, get all the test cases correct. And if you have any other questions, leave them down in the comments below. And uh, see you in the next video.